Hello there, wherever and whenever you are. We're here off 302 at the Mount Tremont Trailhead. It's kind of an interesting weather day. Uh, Hurricane Lee, or the Tropical Storm Lee at this point, I believe is passing off the northeast coast of the US. The wind forecast today looks pretty gnarly. I probably wouldn't be trying to do anything much over what I'm doing today, which is Mount Tremont. I still need it for my 52 with a view list. Forgive me for the car noise, people flying by me, but we're on 302, so that's what happens. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get going. Mount Tremont's only 2.6 miles one way, but it's 2,600 feet. I'm told it's quite steep and gnarly. I've also heard the same from a few other fellow hikers that have done this already. So let's hit the trail and see what it's all about, and hopefully we have some views. The higher summits today were unclouded on the drive up, so here's the hope in the rain and the clouds hold out for us. The forest is looking pretty darn moody today. Pretty uh, cloudy and dark. It's actually really surprised, like I was mentioning, to see like Franconia Ridge, the presidentials were all out of the clouds. This morning, some low hanging clouds and just a really high ceiling of cloudiness. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have some views. Tremont's like just over 3,000 feet. I think it's known to be one of the more short, steep sections of trail of any of the 52 with the view. So it should be interesting. I'm told there's 20 switchbacks that go to the top when it starts finally climbing. The first portion, it's pretty easy, which we're on now. But apparently it just goes straight up in typical White Mountain fashion. Something kind of cool, as you can see, it sort of follows a river on the way up here. All sorts of little cascades and nice pools. Might be great on a hot day like last week, for example. Cool down after a hike up here. Looks like we're gonna climb a little bit, then it's gonna level out, and then it's really gonna go up from the, the topography map. Probably done about 550 so far. So it's not like it's totally flat till it climbs, but been pretty gradual. So we've been in this nice little flat area across one other hiker. Sitting down, I guess he was trying to send a text message out or something to somebody that he had to send. So not completely alone out here today, but it's pretty quiet. Some cars at Crawford Notch, which was kind of surprising. Maybe people coming down are trying to get out early before the weather really hits. I don't know, like I said, 100 mile per hour wind gusts on Washington, I'm good staying off the higher summits today. In fact, I even questioned going up here. And 
if it does seem sketchy, we'll turn back. But so far, so good. We should be approaching the base of where the real steep climb begins. Done about 950 feet so far. Means uh, that final stretch is gonna have a wallop of elevation gain. As expected. Stay tuned. It appears that our climb up Tremont has commenced. I'm on the third switchback right now, or maybe just leading up to the switchbacks, I'm not sure, we'll find out. Either way, it's going up. Probably worth noting is at the base I had just shy of 1,100 feet, so we had about 1,500 feet to do between that riverbed and the summit. Rain's holding out, fingers crossed, you can definitely hear the wind. You can just start to see some colors of fall popping too, which is pretty cool. Love this time of year hiking in September. Beautiful. Foliage is nice too, but got good temps. The trails are generally drier. This summer's been kind of weird with that. But love this time of year. We've definitely hit the aforementioned switchback section. Still goes up pretty good despite there being switchbacks. Done just about 1,800 feet, so we've got about 800 feet to go. Kind of nice that the trail's not just going up the side of the mountain yet. Looks like it just gets steeper and steeper until we pop out on the summit. <laughs> so I'm imagining at some point it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, gnarly going to the top. It's kind of cool, the higher we get, the more it's like going into fall. You can kind of see some leaves on the ground, some maple leaves falling and whatnot and changing color. And it's definitely breezy. Temperatures are probably in like the 50s. I'm trying to just take my time and enjoy today too. I got up pretty early again. Left home around 4.30 or a little bit before that. Made good time up here. It's about three and a half hours from Rehoboth where I live in Massachusetts. So trying to take my time. Definitely got plenty of time today. It's not like the other hike I was on. The Sandwich Range Wilderness was like 13 and a half miles, so I kind of had to make a good pace all day if I wanted to get home at a reasonable time. Just enjoying the nature. We're at the last stretch here, about 200, 300 feet to go. You can really hear the wind picking up, trees moving and everything above me. It's kind of a consistent breeze and then every once in a while, it's been some pretty heavy gusts and we're only around 3,000 feet. I can't imagine what it's like 
up higher, like 6,200 feet, like Mount Washington. We're pretty sheltered over here too. Should be there soon. So I think we're here. There was one last stretch in that last section. It's pretty legit. Didn't film it, frankly, because there wasn't really a flat spot to put my camera in. I didn't feel like going down, come back up again. The trail was really washed out. So let's see what we got for views. It's pretty cool. And we have views, just super. It's cloudy in many places. So this is a nice little ledge that technically isn't the summit yet. Um, I'm gonna go up to the summit next, but just a really nice view sort of back towards, I think the Waterville Valley area, like the Tri Pyramids, White Face, past the Conaway. You can see Carrigan like right across from us, sort of over there. Uh, really pretty, just different perspective. I've never really been over here, so it's kind of neat. Let's check out the main summit. Really fantastic views up here, out to sort of the whole Waterville Valley area. It's kind of cool to look at and see like past the Conaway and Whiteface. Pretty sure that's those peaks, I'll have to double check. I'll make a correction below if I'm wrong. Pretty sure. You can see Pagas peeking out around the corner too, which is pretty neat. Then you got sort of this view again, sort of the Pemi Jawasu Wilderness. You see Kerrigan way over there behind us, kind of looming. It's wicked cloudy and nasty looking towards the presidential, which probably isn't surprising today. Weather's definitely uh, deteriorating, but it's not bad up here right now. Yeah, I'm gonna layer off and actually chill out a little bit and have some food. Feels good to probably uh, put some warmer clothes on for a change. Definitely a touch of fall on me every day, for sure.
So I think it's about that time to head down. Got some stuff to do later, but beautiful views off here. Really stunning summit. The, the ledges really didn't disappoint, like with many of these 52th of views. Trail coming up really wasn't too bad. There's some washed out section stuff, but once we hit the switchbacks, you kind of made a good time going up and you can kind of go up as fast as you want. There wasn't like any giant steps. There's a couple portions that were a little scrambly, but not really bad at all. Really interesting views over here. Glad I actually uh, had the foresight to take photos of Ken McCray's view guide, so I kind of knew what I was looking at. You actually even could see uh, Chikura really around the corner and stuff, but really pretty panoramic view up here. So let's get heading back down. So I imagine you probably can hear it, but the wind, especially the last half an hour or so I was up there was really picking up. Probably spent like an hour or so at the summit, just taking some videos. My camera was a casualty, unfortunately, of a wind gust, but it seems to be working okay. Back LCD screen got a little bit cracked, but probably bound to happen one way or another. I'm sure I could get it fixed or replaced or whatever I need to, but the lens is fine, it's functioning fine, so we're good. That was my own stupid mistake. Shit happens. Making our way down, probably stop to delay her pretty soon. Just heading back down those switchbacks. Just like that, we're back down to basically uh, where the switchbacks began. It's always funny when you come down steep sections, I feel like later in a hike, you're like, wow, I came up all this way. But yeah, there's a bunch of switchbacks that go to the top and there was definitely some steep scrambling areas, but nothing too wild. I think I built this hike up a little bit more in my head than uh, it actually ended up being, which is always kind of good. Still steep, no doubt about that. Continuing to make our way back to the car and the wind gusts are howling even down low. Man. We're back by the river, kind of before we really start to go up a significant amount. Probably about a mile left back to the car. Just swapped off my smart wheel top layer because I was getting a little toasty. Moving down and moving a little bit more quickly than I was off the summit and also just getting warmer because the wind chill was quite nippy up on Tremont today. I'm trying to go down and keep getting distracted in case you can't tell by all these little cascades. I saw like two or three different ones that I didn't even see on the way up. Probably could spend 
good amount of time just exploring down there. Must be really impressive after a big rainstorm. Like I was saying on the way up, if I was hot, or actually even if it was a little bit warmer today, I would say, think about taking a dip just to wash off, but very pretty, cool trail. It's almost like a tale of two trails with Mount Tremont. The beginning of it was pretty easy. The uh, second part actually up to Mount Tremont, pretty steep and rugged, that washed out. But overall, a really great day. The weather has held out for us, other than the wind being a little crazy, at least down here. I imagine up higher it's probably much worse. But no rain, we had views. Can't really ask for much more than that. Woo! Made it! Number 44! Holy moly, is it windy on 302 right now. Gonna hold my camera so it doesn't blow away. As always, if you took the time to watch this video, thanks very much. Please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel, Nick Hikes and Plays Guitar. That's number 44 out of my New Hampshire 52 with a view, so pretty stoked about that. It was a great day, didn't get blown off the mountain, got some views, didn't rain. Camera was a casualty, but oh well, we can fix it and it still works anyways, so that's cool. And we'll see you in the next one.